And for New York, Danny Nagel, just two innings pitched in the last two weeks facing Freddie Garcia, who three days before Friday the 13th was looking to put a scare into the two-time defending champs. To the stadium we go. There is Nagel, an ERA of over 15 in his last two starts. 41-year-old Ricky Henderson on first. Mike Cameron up, strikes out. Henderson, the all-time leading base dealer, gets embarrassed. Does he go? Does he stay? What? Henderson ended up with a twisted right ankle, but he would stay in the game. No score, top of the second. Nagel facing David Bell, Buddy's son, pops it up. Derek Jeter, styling as usual. Sorry, folks, parks closed. Great catch. Bottom three still scoreless. Garcia in trouble. Two runners on. Scott Brocious. Up the middle, Garcia gets a glove on it. Martin McLemore stays with it, turns the nice 4-6-3 double play. Bottom four, Jeter facing Garcia. Jeter fouls it off. Look out, hits Paul O'Neill, who was just hanging out in the on-deck circle. O'Neill would be fine. He'd stay in. Of course, he would. Top of the fifth, Mark McLemore who had doubled for the first hit by the Mariners off the Nagel, and then Ricky Henderson, not embarrassed this time, finds a hole. Macklemore got a great jump. The throw by O'Neill, not in time. I'll tell you, remember the A's ran on, on O'Neill's arm. The Mariners decided to do the same thing, and Macklemore gets that great jump and scores to give the Mariners a 1-0 lead. Top six, Alex Rodriguez. Wow. Second career postseason home run. He's hitting 474 with four homers in five games at Yankee Stadium this year is a rod. 2-0. Bottom six now. Chuck Knobloch at second. Chuck had two hits in this game. Jeter up. Garcia walks him after being ahead in the count 0-2. Lou Pinella comes out. He has left the Arthur Rhodes ready, but he leaves Garcia in. Your next batter is O'Neal. Pinella pushing the right buttons. Garcia gets him with a breaking ball. And then Garcia. Eight Ks and six and two-thirds. Getting Bernie right there. Next batter, David Justice. Third among active players in postseason home runs. Mike Cameron is there. He says, that's nice, but I'll make the catch. A-Rod so pumped up about Freddie Garcia. Garcia went six and two-thirds, just three hits allowed, zero runs, eight Ks. Jose Paniagua facing Jeter. Three strikeouts on the day for Jeter. He went hitless. He hit just 2-11 coming into this series. Rhodes, meanwhile, comes in to face O'Neal, the next batter, right? But Joe Torrey calls back O'Neal. Pinch hits for him with Glenn Allen Hill. Uh-oh. Glenn Allen Hill strikes out. Mariners still up 2-0. Bottom nine after a Bernie Williams single. Kazahiro Suzaki facing David Justice. Suzaki, a 6.75 ERA in four outings against the Yanks this year. You'd never know it by that pitch. Next batter, Tino Martinez, who came into the series hitting 421 in the postseason. Find some room. Past A-Rod. Tying runs on base for the Yanks. Next batter, Jorge Posada. He's two for three lifetime against Suzaki with two homers. Fly ball, but Raul Ibanez makes the catch. So much for that threat by Posada. Next batter is a former Seattle Mariner. In fact, he was a Mariner in 95 when these two teams played once before in the ALCS. That has home run distance to it, but it's foul. And check out Luis Soho pulling the Carlton Fisk, JT Snow imitation, but for him it did not work out the way he wanted to. Next pitch, Soho. Fly ball, but Mike Cameron who replaced Ken Griffey Jr. in center, puts an end to this game. And the Mariners draw first blood at the stadium, improving to 4-0 in the postseason is Seattle. The Yanks suffered their first shutout in the playoffs since game two of the 1996 World Series. Mariner pitchers have been money when it matters most this postseason. Opponents are just three for 33 with runners in scoring position in four games this playoffs. The Mariners' bullpen has now pitched 14 innings of scoreless relief up one to nothing in games and one to nothing on the scoreboard in the eighth inning. Arthur Rhodes to David Justice, who starts off the eighth by nearly tying the game. Double off the wall, leading off the eighth for Justice. Next batter, Bernie Williams. Full count pitch from Arthur Rhodes, serves it into center, and the Yankees snap a 21 consecutive scoreless inning streak by tying the game at one in the eighth inning of game two of the ALCS. Next batter, Tino Martinez, 3-2 pitch. Al Martin dives, can't hang on. It's ruled a base hit, runners in first and second, still nobody out. Next batter, Jorge Posada. Grounds one to the right side, underneath Mark McLemore into right field. Bernie Williams comes all the way around and the Yanks are suddenly up two to one. They had another run on Paul O'Neill, sack fly, two out now, one on Jose Mesa pitching to Jose Vizcaino, who came in the game for a pinch running earlier, and he visits the left center field gap. 
Rui Solo comes all the way around, and it's now 4-1 Yanks. Next batter, Chuck Knobloch. Knobloch, two out, base hit up the middle. 5-1 Yankees. Next batter, Derek Jeter looking for the insurance run, and he got it. Deep to right field, the Yankees' second home run of the postseason comes in game two of the ALCS. Yanks go up 7-1 and win by that final score. So the Yankees tied a franchise record with 21 consecutive scoreless innings and then snapped it by tying an LCS record with eight hits in one inning. And by so doing, they tie the series at one and made El Duque the second pitcher to win his first seven postseason decisions. Or Page roof closed at Safeco, first ALCS game in Seattle since 85. Andy Pettit in trouble in the first two on for Edgar Martinez. 11 for 30, lifetime against Pettit. Into left, Mike Cameron comes around. Let my Cameron go. Mariners lead 1 0. There's that word again. Sealy's ERA at home nearly a run lower than on the road. That was his one stat in his favor Friday night. Top two facing Bernie Williams. Say hello to my little friend. Bernie's 12th career postseason homer, third behind Madeline Ruth in Yankee history. Next batter, Tino Martinez. The Bam Tino. And Cameron's not going to get this. Tino hitting 438 this postseason. Yankees lead 2 1, 34th instance of consecutive homers in postseason history. Bottom two, second and third, two out for Cameron. And Andy Pettit handcuffs him to short. Pettit is fired up. It's still 2-1 Yanks. He went 6-2, and two third, allowed two runs on nine hits. Top three, Derek Jeter up with a man on. It's to short. A-Rod to second for one, but Jeter too fast at first, and the inning is still alive. Keeps things going for David Justice, a 333 career hitter against Sealy. It's into the gap in left center. Jeter coming all the way around. It's 3-1 Yankees. Sealy lasted six-plus, allowed four runs on nine hits. Bottom five now. Mariners trying to come back. Ricky's on second. It's Cameron again. And he gets handcuffed inside there, but bloops it over Jeter's head. Henderson comes in, and the M's are now within a run. They cut the Yankee lead to 3-2. We stay in the fifth for Edgar Martinez. He's a hitting machine. Up the middle, Derek Jeter. Full extension, flip to second for the force, and the Yankees hold the 3-2 lead. Top six now. Runners at the corners, Paul O'Neill. To right, it'll score Bernie. First hit of the series for O'Neill and his first RBI of this postseason. Yankees lead 4-2. Bottom seven, Joe Oliver facing Pettit. Left to the mound, Brocious barehanded to first. And Andy Pettit is still alive. Bottom eight, Jeff Nelson into face A-Rod. Mariners down 4-2, up the middle, but Jeter is there again. A-Rod is safe at first. He later stole second base and was in scoring position for Edgar Martinez. But Jeff Nelson gets him, and there's one out in the inning. Still in the eighth now. A-Rod to third base, two outs. Rivera into face Olaru. Into left, and it's harmless. David Justice is there to make the catch, and the Yankees maintain their 4-2 lead. Top nine, bases loaded for Justice. It's 5-2 into right. This will deliver two, and the Yankees suddenly are blowing this thing open. It's 7-2 New York. Bottom nine. Rivera still on, trying to close it out. It's 8-2 Yankees, gets Mark McLemore to ground out to first to end it, and the Yankees win 8-2. Mariano Rivera breaks Whitey Ford's record with 33 and a third consecutive scoreless innings in the postseason. Aaron Seeley's career postseason record is now 0-3, with all three losses coming against the Yankees. Seeley becomes the first pitcher in history to lose to the same club in three straight postseasons. Game four of the ALCS, the Seattle Mariners. That's right, the Seattle Mariners, down two games to one to the Yankees, have scored just five runs in those three games. Their once dependable bullpen had allowed 11 earned runs in its last four innings. Now in a virtually desperate situation tonight against the rejuvenated two-time defending world champs, a Yankee team coming off their best game in five weeks. Here we go to Safeco Boy, where they pumped up with the towels waving. Jamie Moyer thrown out the first pitch. He also wrote, win in the dirt. Would it work? Roger Clemens on fire early, facing Stan Javier. Clemens' secret, all game long, he had all three of his pitches working. The fastball, the splitter, and the slider. And then A-Rod, a 341 lifetime hitter against Clemens, and Clemens knows the stat. Next pitch, uh-oh, brushing back again. Lou Pinella with some advice for his own pitcher, Paul Abbott, at the end of the bench. Top of the second we go, Paul Abbott taking the manager's advice against Jorge Posada. Look out! Pinella with some heated words for Posada after Posada 
looks into the dugout. Jorge still up. Abbott walks him. Same inning, two on, two out for Scott Brocious. Brocious. It's shallow. Had a chance to cause some pain, but Brocious strands two runners. The game is still scoreless. Another controversy, sort of. Clemens and Al Martin get tangled up on the first baseline. Martin is out. Clemens gives Martin a little elbow. Martin glaring at the rocket from the dugout. Still bottom four. A-Rod up again. This time, Clemens gets A-Rod swinging at that slider. Clemens had a no-hitter through four. Top five, Yanks with a two-out rally. Scott Brocious gets revenge with a slap single. And the next batter, Chuck Knobloch, who has been consistent all through this postseason, draws a two-out walk. Two on, two out. Derek Jeter, his second home run in this series, a career postseason average of 313. This thing looked like it was just a fly ball, but it went over the fence. Jeter pumped up 3 nothing Yanks. Top six now, Paul Abbott having arm trouble. Tightness in his right shoulder. So the reliever for the Mariners, Robert Ramsey, has to come in, and that's it for Abbott, who really pitched a marvelous game. Jay Buhner giving Abbott the pat on the back. Five innings, three hits allowed, three earned runs. Bottom six, Clemens. Working on that no-hitter, Dan Wilson can't find the splitter. Clemens, just one career one-hitter coming into this game. Never pitched a no-hitter. Bottom seven now, still a no-no for Clemens. Al Martin rips it down the line. Tino Martinez just got a little piece of it. A leadoff double, and there goes the no-hitter. So now it's time to concentrate on the game, on a potential victory for Roger Clemens and the Yankees. A-Rod with a man on second. Boy, Rodriguez not the same against the Rocket. And then Edgar, what was he looking for? Same inning, two on, two out. Mike Cameron doesn't have a chance against that heat. Remember, the Rocket is a 3-5 and five lifetime career average in the postseason. Pitching an incredible game, and he's pumped. David Justice, meanwhile, salt to the wound. Justice tying Reggie Jackson for most career postseason RBIs with 48. It's 5-0 New York. Ninth inning, Clemens still cruising. He's got the one hitter, you know. Gets Javier swinging at the splitter. 14 Ks for the Rocket and the 15th. Tying the LCS record. A-Rod grounds out to shore to end the game. Clemens had two strikeouts in the first inning, two strikeouts in the ninth inning. 15 for the game, a one-hitter for the Rocket. Who says he can't win a big game in the postseason? That talk will stop now. The Yankees grab a three games to one lead, beating the Mariners five to nothing. This was the seventh career one hitter in postseason history, by the way. Again, those 15 Ks tying the LCS record set by Levon Hernandez. Another note, Justice is 12th career postseason home run. Of an elimination game, Lou's boys need to sweep the Yankees three straight to eliminate them. They've done that before. But Luis Soho with the bases full of Yankees in a 1-0 Mariners game. Top of the fourth, plates two Yankees. Second and third, nobody out. Yanks up 2-1, and the Mariners in trouble. But Garcia pitches out of it. With two outs and those men still on second and third, Jeter grounds to Alex Rodriguez, and the Yankees strand two runners. That would be a theme in this game. Bottom of the fourth, Denny Nagel against John Olerud. Hits one deep to right. Bernie Williams on his horse. You want me on that wall? You need me on that wall. Worthy of another look, leaping, robbing a clear home run from Olerud. Keeps the game at 2-1. Bottom of the fifth, Nagel out. Jeff Nelson in. Two runners on in scoring position for A-Rod. Base hit. Mark McLemore, Ricky Henderson come on down. 3-2 Mariners. That brings Edgar Martinez to the plate. And, of course, Dave Niehaus to the mic. The pitch. Swung on and belted. Deep to center field. Bernie Williams looks up. And this will fly. Fly away. Edgar Martinez has just given the Mariners a 5-2 lead. Next batter, John Holloward looking for the back-to-back -back homer, and he got it. First pitch, fifth straight postseason series with a home run for Olerud, tied for fourth all time on that list, 6-2 Mariners. Top of the sixth, Soho against Jose Paniagua. A-Rod diving, stop, gets him. The Mariners certainly came out looking far more confident in the field after that five-run fifth. They had only five runs in the first four games of this series. Before that fifth, David Bell closes out the top of the sixth by robbing Knobloch and throwing him out from his knees. We pick things up, top of the seventh. Bases full of Yankees. Arthur Rhodes facing Jorge Posada. The tying run at the plate. And Posada swinging. Next batter was Paul O'Neill, but Glenn Allen Hill pinch hits for him. And Hill's caught looking to get out of the seventh. The Mariners go on a win by the final of 6-2. to two. And thanks to their most crooked number of the series, the Mariners have life. 
five runs on six pitches in the fifth inning. Three of those runs charged to Nelson, who coming in hadn't given up an earned run in 17 consecutive postseason appearances. The Yankees went just two for 15 with runners in scoring position, so there will be a game six. El Duque and John Halama. Throw mama from the train. Top one, El Duque facing Alex Rodriguez, and A-Rod drills it into the corner. They are going to wave Al Martin, and what's up with this noise? It's 1-0 Mariners. El Duque looking human. Next batter, it's Edgar Martinez. So dangerous, and Edgar doubles into that corner. This will bring in A-Rod, and it's 2-0 Mariners. Remember, El Duque came in 7-0 career in the postseason. Top four, Carlos Guillen with a man on. The big bunt against the White Sox and a big home run against the Yankees. Upper deck two-run shot. It's 4-0 Seattle, and El Duque cannot believe it. Brooklyn native John Halama with the bases loaded in the bottom of the fourth, looking in Derek Jeter's pensive Halama, facing Jorge Posada, and Jorge doubles to right center. David Justice and Bernie Williams come around, and the Yankees are now on the board, trailing 4-2. Deficit two runs for the next batter, Paul O'Neill. Paul O'Neill going up the middle. Tino Martinez comes in. Posada going to hold up at third. They put the brakes on, and the Yankees trail 4-3. Halama went only three and a third, allowed three runs on five hits, but no further damage done. Bottom five now. Tino Martinez checking for cracks. Brett Tomko in, then on first and second. And sure enough, Martinez gets sawed off by Olerud. Mark McLemore to Tomko covering. Tomko worked two and two-thirds hitless innings, 51 pitches in relief. He was solid. Top six, El Duque facing McLemore with the bases full. To short, Jeter. Full extension, and that ends the inning. It's still 4-3 Seattle. Bottom seven now, the key matchup. Lou Pinella brings in Arthur Rhodes to face David Justice. Men on first and third for Justice. Say hello to my little friend. Three run shot to the upper deck, 6 4 Yankees. The Mariner dugout cannot believe it. Justice is sight. Still bottom seven. Rhodes trying to recover, facing Paul O'Neill. The bases are loaded, full of Yankees here. They're up 6 4. It is past a diving McLemore at second. Williams scores. Martinez comes in. And suddenly, the Yankees are blowing it open again in the late innings. It's 8 4. Top eight, El Duque facing A Rod. It's 9-4 Yankees at this point, and A-Rod going yard. A-Rod 14 for 28 with five homers at Yankee Stadium this year. Remember that. He'll be a free agent. El Duque, seven innings. He allowed six runs on seven hits. Still top eight. Mariano Rivera facing McLemore. Men on second and third. It hits the bag at first. Martinez comes in. Olerud does two, and suddenly the Mariners, they're back in it, trailing 9-7. Rivera's postseason scoreless inning streak snapped at 33 and a third. Still top eight. Rivera right by Buhner. Inning over. Top nine now. A-Rod at second. Mariner still trying to come back against Rivera, facing Edgar Martinez, who's had Mariano's number. But Martinez goes to short, and this will do it. Wake up, Willie, Mickey, and the Duke. We got a Subway Series. Yankees win 9-7. David Justice, your series MVP. It's the Yankees' 37th American League pennant. The first Subway Series in 44 years begins Saturday night, game one at Yankee Stadium. El Duque's postseason record approved to 8-0. He is the first pitcher ever to go to 8-0 in postseason play. This was the Yankees' seventh best of seven.